This video explains operating double acting cylinder using 4 by 3 direction control wall. So we have drawn this particular circuit for operating double acting cylinder using this 4 by 3 direction control wall. So as you can see over here, we are having the various, we have shown the various components of this circuit. So this is the reservoir, then filter, the pump which is driven by the motor, shutoff or shuttle wall, then this is the pressure cage. Now this particular wall is 4 way 3 position direction control wall or 4 by 3 direction control wall. So this 4 way stand for P, A, B and R whereas these 3 position they stand for left envelope mode, central position and then the right envelope mode. This is the double acting cylinder in which the fluid is admitted on both the sides of the piston. The pressure relief wall is used to relieve the hydraulic circuit when the system pressure exceeds the design pressure. Then pressure gauge will indicate, it will sense the pressure and will indicate the pressure inside the circuit. For the given particular position, the port P is connected to the port R. So the fluid will enter from pump into port P and will directly go to the reservoir port R and no operation will be performed. Now let us see what will happen when we operate the, so this is the symbol for lever operated and spring centered or spring control direction control wall. When we operate the lever in such a way that we will be in the left envelope mode, then what will happen and we will we'll operate this particular lever in such a way that we will be in the right envelope mode, then what will happen that we will see in the next animation. So let us first draw this particular circuit again over here indicating that we are in the left envelope mode. So as you can see over here from the pump port or pressure port P, the fluid will enter into the cylinder port A and the fluid will be admitted on this side of the piston. Now this will cause the extension of this particular piston and the fluid from the other side that is other port B will enter into the reservoir port R. Now let us see what will happen when we are in the right envelope mode. So at that time the fluid from the port P it will enter into port B and then it will cause the retraction of this particular piston. So in this way we can operate this particular double acting cylinder using 4x3 direction control valve. 